this is the fourth in our series of stoichiometry videos where we are using a balanced equation to come up with quantitative results of either products or reactants. And we're going to stick with the same balanced equation, which is two um, moles of magnesium solid react with one mole of oxygen gas to produce two moles of magnesium oxide of solid. And in this particular problem, they're asking how many grams of product would be produced by a complete reaction, again, no limiting reagents, of eight grams of oxygen. So we're going from grams to grams, which is really very functional. We can measure that in a lab. So our given eight grams of oxygen, we are trying to find grams of product, which is magnesium oxide. So we're going to set up our dimensional analysis problem with our given as the first section of the fence. And since we are in grams, and to use the mole to mole conversion factor from the balanced equation, we need to be in moles. The first thing we're going to do is convert grams of oxygen to moles of oxygen. Grams of oxygen comes down, and we will convert it to moles. So to do that, we look at the periodic table. And if you come over here, you will see that oxygen is in that second energy level in group 16. Its molar mass is 16, roughly 16 grams. That is for one atom of oxygen, but since this is a diatomic element, we need to double that value. So in one mole of oxygen gas, or O2, there are 32 grams. We go ahead and plug that in as our next section of the dimensional analysis, or our next conversion factor. Um, 32 grams is equal to one mole, and that will cancel out grams of oxygen for us. So now we're in moles, and we can use that for our next step. We can use our balanced equation to um, plug in our mole to mole conversion. We're going to bring down moles of oxygen and convert it to moles of magnesium oxide. And if we look at our balanced equation, one mole of oxygen gives us two moles of magnesium oxide. It is a one to two ratio. So that will be the next section or next conversion factor in our dimensional analysis. Now we're at moles of magnesium oxide, but we need to get to grams of product. So we need to convert moles of this compound to grams of that compound. Um, we cannot find the molar mass of a compound on the periodic table, but we can find it of the individual elements that are in that compound. So we're going to do a little problem down here on the bottom and figure out the molar mass of our compound or our product. We know that magnesium is in that compound and oxygen. And we know that there is one, there's no subscript there, so there's one atom or ion of magnesium to every one ion of oxygen. Now we go to our periodic table. And we find magnesium over here. Its molar mass is 24 grams and oxygen is 16. We do not to need to double in this instance because we only have one ion of oxygen. So we are going to multiply 1 by 24 grams to have 24 grams of per mole of magnesium and 16 grams per mole of oxygen in our compound magnesium oxide. We add those two numbers together. We get a total molar mass of 40 grams per mole. Um, and there is our conversion factor, which we will now plug in. In one mole of magnesium oxide, there are 40 grams of magnesium oxide. We now have grams of magnesium oxide on the top, which is what we are looking for. Grams, let's just double check that all of our units of measurement cancel out. And they do. So now we are going to do the math. 8 divided by 32 is 1 fourth, 2 divided by 4 is, is 1 to 2, 40 divided by 2 gives us 20. So our answer is 20 grams of magnesium oxide.